Something about me streaming in the daytime just feels weird. Because <laughs> there is light coming in through this window. <laughs> so they're going to have another trip to warmer places while Texas freezes over? I don't know. I don't know. Um, that's a question for Fuse. By the way, if you're not following Fuse, you really should. Fuse does a lot of Pokemon. Like, that's all he does is Pokemon content. So if you really like Pokemon, uh, you should give Fuse a follow. He's also a really cool streamer. Like, he lets, he's doing a chat lock for, uh, in Pokemon Scarlet, I believe. It's in one of the two. Um, so, like, chat gets to decide, like, a lot of how he plays the game and whatnot. It's pretty interesting to watch. It's pretty fun. Um, chat gets a lot of choice, um, when he plays games. But Fuse, also thank you for the, 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 ga the gifted game. <laughs> Thanks for making me realize my, my starting soon screen does not have the throne layover <laughs> overlay. Um, which means I will be playing this on stream when, uh, throne gifts, gives me the code for it. But thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And I really hope you enjoyed the ditto. I really hope you enjoyed the ditto. Prog, hey! It's so good to see you. How are you doing, friend? It's been so long. And this, this is Pete. This is Pete. Beth, we love Pete. <laughs> Thought you were going to say gifted gays. <laughs> gifted gays. We gifted me. <laughs> long time no see. Yeah, I hope you've been well. It's been a rough year. Well, we have hugs. If you would like a hug. We hug you. We hold your hand. And have an opossum. <laughs> Hopefully next year will be better, friend. I hope so. Because you deserve you deserve a lot. Um Yeah, I would love a hug. Yes. We're we're sending hugs to everyone right now. Would you possum? Yes. His name is Pete. He is from a uh store or a company called P Fluff Nest, and they're called Puff Pals. And they're absolutely adorable. I personally think they're better than Squishmallows. Squishmallows are still very soft and very squishy. And I still love them. However, the, just like the anat anatomical features are just like top tier. Um, and like the opossum is just very soft. Um, hi, Jeff. Welcome on in. This is so weird doing like an afternoon stream. This feels like odd. <laughs> oh, yes, Jem, Congratulations. I know it's not technically official yet, but still... Early congratulations. You think they would have a guinea pig? Um, let me look. I mean, they don't have a rat. This is like the closest thing they have to a rat. I don't even think that they might have a mouse, but let me let me look. Uh, thank you, team. Of course. Uh fluff nest. This is what we do. Um, this is how chat stalls me. And it's great. Um, okay. So they have a shiitake mushroom, which is what I have. They have a ca strawberry cow, a frog. Actually, wait, I can literally show you. Uh, let me switch here. Okay, so this is their website. It's really fucking cute. Um, yeah, I can't wait. I'm gonna wait until, like, after Christmas, I think. Um, especially if you if you wanted to buy stuff from my Etsy store, because then I can combine everything into one order. So, I, so you don't have to pay shipping once. So, okay, so I have, um, I have this one. Gus is in my bedroom right now. OG, your stream slides are amazing. Better than what I saw last time I saw. Yeah, those were, um, I made those myself. I made the, the, the bisexual and the non-binary backgrounds. But yeah, we did, like, an overhaul because we also switched over to stream elements from Streamlabs. Um, so it was just, like, a good overhaul because I hadn't had, like, any good overlays in a while. So I was like, you know what? Like, it, it's time to upgrade. I have the finances and the money but this is puff pal so if you're ever wondering like where i get like a good majority of my plushies from that i have on stream the cow i'm dying of cuteness yeah i dropped the link in chat um if you're curious um so this is being the frog and i'll point out the ones i ha i bought on pre-order um there's ricky the raccoon the cat a lavender cow pickles i have um i have the large one he's a big boy he's 24 inches um so two feet um, the sweetheart bat's really cute. Um, I got May the Bee for Susie and for Amelia. Pickles are beloved. Yeah, I, I got, I think I got you the little boy. I think I got you the little boy and then I got, yeah, I got you the little boy. Even though it's not technically a keychain. Or did I? Huh? No, I got you the mini. I got you the mini. Sorry. Um, have you heard of Meowchi? No. Pufferfish, welcome on in. Hello. You got Amelia a bee? I did get Amelia the bee. 
Um, cause like they, they did a Black Friday sale. So I really wanted to get Brian and Amelia one. Um, and I also got Susie one. And that's when I got Pete as well. Um, cause they're not pre-orders. They're already manufactured and ready to shift. Shift. Um, this is definitely Trombone Champ, everybody. Um, I have five Meowchies. They're colorful cats that cost 20 bucks. Uh, let me pull that up on a different tab. Meowchies. I feel like I've heard... Oh, yes, I've seen these before. Oh, yeah, I've seen these before. Okay, this is safe for me to put over here. Um, oh, they're adorable. Oh, the bee. Oh, the bee is so cute. You found the lake. <laughs> yeah, Tasty Peach. Uh, is it Tasty Peach that does these? Um, hello, I need... Wait, do they have, like, an official website? Oh, yeah, Tasty Peach Studios! Yeah! I follow them on Facebook! Yeah! Oh, my God, they're so cute. Y'all, I know what I'm putting next on my throne wish list. It's gonna be these. It's gonna be these. Um, plush. No, I want just the Meowchies, though. Uh, uh... I need more Pusheen, to be honest, with these two. Oh, they're so cute. Look at the little banana seal. Oh, yeah, these are like, oh my God, y'all, they have sushis, but they're sold out. It's all right, though. It's okay. Yeah, I had um a narwhal. I think I got rid of it, though. Sushi. <laughs> yeah, I had uh, the mint chip narwhal, and I got rid of it because it wasn't as soft as I wanted it to be. Um... But oh, the Meowchies are so cute. Oh my goodness. Of course, this had to die. Half of chat dead right now due to cuteness. We're not even done with like... Okay, wait. Let's go back to Puff Pals. Okay. Um, so, and then I got Brian Blanche the chicken. So I got Brian the chicken uh, because Stardew. Uh, I was just supposed to be saving money. <laughs> Oh shit, a throne? Oh gee, I fucking love people who use it. I watch another streamer who has one and bought him the most cursed shit I'll tell you about you. Throne stuff else. <laughs> throne. Susie, that's not how you spell it. <laughs> yeah, I have a throne wish list. Um, you can buy stuff from the wish wish list itself, or you can suggest things. I will be adding definitely stuff from Meowchi. I won't add a total a whole lot, because like I don't have enough space back here. Um like, granted, I need to reorganize this shelf here, and I need to put these somewhere. Um, but I did my best. It's okay. It's okay, bestie. We love you. Uh, then we have Sakura Bean the Frog. But why did Throne work? Oh, no, it's because I have a button. I have a button for it um, on my thing. But here's the command. Um, so the command actually comes through... Uh, Stream elements, but when I post it myself, it comes through there. Um, okay, and then there's a Sakura dragon. Then there's Tilly the coffee cow. Gray has yeeted amount things on stream so far. Then there's Carl the carrot, which I all I, I low key really want. Um, there's Coco the cat. The buttons the honey bear. Okay, so I ordered Ham the flat frog. I have to have Ham the Flat Frog. You understand why, right? We all understand why I need Ham the Flat Frog, right? Current counter, perhaps plus one. I mean, I, I almost threw my headphones last night. The frog, Ham! We love Ham. <laughs> Toby the Cookie Cow. Look, he's got a little heart. Great, I'm trying to save <laughs> me. Um, then there's the Sakura Deer. Murphy the Bunny, which is the last stock. Um, Dottie is currently up here in my pre-order on my other tab, because I'm debating if I want one or not. Um, there's a toucan. The only reason we're going down this rabbit hole is because Prague wants to know if there's a guinea pig, which I'm not sure there is a guinea pig. Um, but we're looking, we're perusing. There's the mega bean. Um, Gus gets a partner. Um, I don't have any plushes. Deer. Yeah, there's Randy the reindeer. Uh, then there's the the moths. I'm getting one because I kickstarted their game. Yes, they are making a video game. It's called Island Skies. 
Um, it's basically going to be like a mix of Stardew Valley and Animal Crossing. Um, but like, it's not going to be released for a hot minute. Like I'm getting alpha access, but I won't be able to stream it, um, until it comes out. It's all right. If there's no guinea pig, it's hard to find a good quality one, but I'll take the lavender cow. Yeah, it's really cute. <laughs> yeah. They're making a video game. So I ordered, I got one of the, I'm getting a night version of one of the moths. I'll show this as well in a second. This frog guys remind me of the fall guys frogs. Oh my God. Yeah, you're right. Pebble the penguin, Edison the chick, Nubs the pug, Potato the pig. I really want this one. Um, May Mega May the bee. Lurk laundry time, laundry time. That's me after stream today. Also, we have a uh, Cursed Blanche, which when I asked, um, when I, because I asked Doctor Who um, for an opinion on which animals do you think brian and amelia would like they recommended um blanche the chicken but not the cursed one and i'm like the cursed one would have been funny though but i understand yeah yeah bruce the buff bee um is that it yeah that's it um let me move back here but yeah that is the thing oh dr bless it would have <laughs> me if they like them I'll definitely buy the cursed chicken for Brian for his birthday. If they like the Puff Pals, if it turns out like they really like them. Um, Cause this is like, I'm trying to introduce, I'm introducing them to Puff Pals. And if they really like them, then I'm just going to keep buying them for them. <laughs> Cause it gives me an excuse to buy more of these. Um, yes. But thank you all so much for being here. I don't do afternoon streams cause I usually, you know, have, work <laughs> i'm usually working during this time but um jasmine's the one who gifted me trombone champ and like i wanted to make sure that jasmine would be able to see it a little bit and laugh along with us um work can we eat it i mean if you want to eat it you can um oh we need to do pokemon and queer word of the day um so Susie, uh pick a number between one through six if you have not done so already and i'll pull out my queer word of the day down here brian's birthday stream we have this massive box from gray here it's just full of plush pals oh my lord <laughs> i probably also send in pokemon cards too six didn't want to make my neighbors insane. I was going to learn the trombone IRL, but then COVID happened. Didn't want to make my neighbors insane. Hey, I had to still do, po I still had to do music stuff during COVID because I was finishing out my undergrad. Um, so like my neighbors got to hear me play the university's alma mater with my clarinet. <laughs> All right. So we are opening a fusion strike pack. Um, if you want to see me open more Pokemon on stream? I do have some Pokemon uh, packs listed on my wish list um, because I have to wait until I get another paycheck before I buy more for myself. If I buy more for myself, I'm waiting. I'm holding out for the next generation to like not be on pre-order. I learned trumpet as a primary school student. My parents hated it. Um, okay, so what bothers me? I played Dungeons and Dragons for the first time yesterday. Oh, that's so cool. Did you enjoy it? I hope you enjoyed it. Um, and if not, you could say you tried it and that's okay. Um, it's okay not to like something. I learned the recorder in primary school. My parents hated that too. Well, so what bothers me is that like parents are like, oh yeah, we want you to be involved and active. But then like, are be like, oh, do you have to practice? And like, don't be discouraging of your children from like trying to get better at something. Like, unless if they say it, like, in a joking manner, but sometimes really hard to pick up. I played trumpet, cornet, euphonium, and tuba. Ooh, very cool. I played trumpet for, like, a hot minute in seventh grade because, like, the trumpet section was having a mid-middle school crisis. Um, and I thought I could make them better because, yup. Uh, me who percussionists hearing about other instruments and have no clue what they are. <laughs> That's fair. I mean, percussion does have like a very wide variety of like unique and unusual instruments, which are pretty cool in itself. Um, so it makes sense. It makes sense. Um, to be fair, I wasn't the enthusiastic about trumpets, so they did have a point. Uh, I was the head of the brass division in our orchestra. Oh, that's so dope. That's so cool. All right, ASMR. 
Oh, this was the cleanest Pokemon unpacking we have done. Okay. Uh, if anyone wants to guess the energy, we already have a fire from Susie. Um, I tried guitar once too, and it just wasn't for me. The guitar that my parents had was too big for me. So, like, my fingers were, like, spread so far apart, and it was really uncomfortable um, to actually play. There's gonna be a trumpeter in the school band. Oh, hey, Ellie. Welcome on in. Fire times 28. We got a water. We are guessing uh, what the energy is gonna be, Ellie, for the car pack that we are opening. I have not looked. I have no idea what it is. Do, 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 do. <gasps> Jasmine! Jasmine's the one who gifted me this game. Jasmine's the one who gifted me this game. JCK, hello. <laughs> I love your emotes. I know I, I know they're yours. Like, you've made them. But they're so cute. I love them. <laughs> Electric. We're currently guessing. Um, we're opening Pokemon Pack. Um, and we are guessing the energy... Um, and then we're going to do Queer Word of the Day, and then we're going to loot up the game. Parents said no. <sighs> I mean, I understand why parents say no, but I wish, like, they would just, you know, let their kid explore what they want to do. Also, Puffer, I'm really glad you enjoyed, um, playing some D&D. &D. Um, but Jasmine, you've not missed out on anything, so you are all good. All right, we got a water! Gem is correct! It's a water type. It is water! Water. All right, and we got a Dune Sparse. Was he coming from a black hole? No, it looks like he's coming from a cave mouth. Oh, and the glare's not as bad. The glare's not as bad because it's light outside. Yeah, I had to carry firewood and help my dad in the basement. That's fair. That's fair. Well, glad the firewood is there and not missing somewhere else. Ooh, to fuel nines. <laughs> To feel nice. <laughs> Alright, we got a dancer. Uh, trainer support card. Uh, we got a Pangoro. I still have, like, five piles of Pokemon cards, like, scattered around my room right now. That is a Christmas Eve problem, I think. <gasps> Ooh, a, a Galarian Corsola. I forgot there was a Galarian Corsola. Oh my god. Look how pretty that is. I forgot. I honestly forgot. I have to... Refuel him by hand. Ooh. <laughs> um, I moved into high school and did voice lessons, so that was more of my speed. I did musical theater all through high school, too. Oh, that's so dope. That's cool. Me and Jenna right now stuffed bell peppers, but vegetarian. Ooh, that also sounds really good. I had oatmeal this morning, and I let it sit in my fridge overnight, and it got really dry, so, like, I had to add more milk to it. But it was by the time I did that, it was already cold, and I'm like, I'm not feeling this. So I had some uh, sausage patties that I made yesterday. Um, all right, we got a, a quillfish. Very nice. We've been getting a lot of Hisui and quillfish recently. Um, uh, Vulpix. Little baby. We got a Chansey. Oh, that's cute card art. Oh, that's very cute card art. All right, and then we got a Galarian Zigzagoon. Now, I could, I could not play for shit with instruments, Music and singing, I'm just generally bad. You're not that bad. Hello, Yolf. Hello. All right. This is our... Oh! A Galarian Cursola. A Reverse Hollow. These are two cards I know I do not have in my collection. I'm alert for a moment. No problem, Jasmine. Um, I was in my school's a cappella choir band as a singer and orchestra head of brass. Oh, that's so dope. That's so cool. All right. Oh, it's a regular. Oh, we got a Gorbis. Gorbis. Non-hollow, but still cool. Yeah, we have not gotten a full art card in a while, and I'm, like, concerned. <laughs> at least with the new card packs, like, there will be at least a guarantee of one full art hollow because they're making them more expensive. One day we'll choose a good pack. <laughs> yeah, I think, like, what I'm going to end up starting to do is I'm going to start figuring out what I don't have and start buying packs that I that are have a chance of giving me those cards that I need. Um, yeah, I think that's what we're going to end up doing. Look out for the hidden ditto. Yes, always the hidden ditto. All right, we're going to do Queer Word of the Day, and then we'll move into Trombone Champ. Um, look, my goalie and Ethan's <laughs> do on the grass. Welcome on in. Thanks for the first time chatter. How are you doing? 
Uh, Lurk Magnolia, Ethan, Winter's Update. Oh, hold on, wait a sh- <laughs> Hold on, wait a second. <laughs> I need to see this in real time. <laughs> That's also a really cool name, Dew. I like that. Dew on the grass is very nice to see and feel in the morning. Uh, Magnolia, Sims. Love that. So good. Susie's now a sweaty pro Fall Guys player. Now says so she beat one. <laughs> She's not that sweaty, though. She's not that sweaty. Never forget that 99% of gamblers just stop before their big break. <laughs> true. True. That is very true. Um, Susie the goat. Susie is the goat. Is the gamer of the year. Uh, the crown is for her. All right. So I'm just dry. <laughs> <laughs> dry like a nose maybe i don't know all right so here's our queen's english book um our little dictionary um we are going to open to a random page i have not picked a word on this page yet which is cool um and we're gonna do a big old thwap oh shit this is a very long queer word of the day all right cool this i'm fine with let me put this here. So bear with me. It's going to be a lot of reading. And there might be some confusion, but that's okay. Uh, did you know that Pokemon is illegal in Saudi Arabia because it promotes Zionism and gambling? Zionism? Granted, I don't remember much of history. Um, so what does Zionism mean? And hopefully you don't mean the National Park of Zion. <laughs> is it Daddy? No. <laughs> that would have been funny, though. Um... All right, so the queer word of today, the day, is kiki, K-I-K-I. -I. So not kwee kwee, it's kiki. <laughs> All right, it is a noun for a social gathering of like-minded friends. A kiki is marked by intimate, fun-filled conversations and hot gossip. And it's also an onomatopoeia for the sound of laughter. Used in a sentence. We had a good kiki last night laughing about our trip last year to Vegas. Want more info? Think Let's Have a Kiki by Sis Scissor Sisters. Usage note. This term originated in ballroom culture. It has been appropriated by the larger LGBTQIA plus community in mainstream culture. It is also an adjective for a dated term for a queer woman who does not identify as butch or femme, nor does she have a preference for a butch or femme partner. This term was considered derogatory when it originated in the 1940s because kiki girls did not fit into the butch femme binary and were often mocked by others. Can also be seen as kiki, so there's a space in between the first and second key. Used in the sentence, Hillary is a kiki girl. She's cool with dating any type of woman. Want more info? Think lesbian who doesn't discriminate based on the butch slash femme spectrum. Usage note, this term originated in the lesbian community. So that is your queer word of the day, friends. Very interesting. Yeah, it's always fun to, like, look at these words. Um, Zionism is the movement to support a Jewish nation like Israel. Oh, interesting. I'm surprised, like, they view Pokemon as, like, doing that, though. That just... I'm intrigued. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna put this down here. Alright, and we are gonna boot up the game. Kwee Kwee! We love Kwee Kwee. I learned something new. Yeah, I, I love, um pulling words from there and learning a little bit something new um all right so i have seen some gameplay of this but i have yet to play it myself all right there's a game quit the game and your save will die okay that's good warning this game contains mild flashing lights during some sequences with may trigger seizures for people but, but, but i wasn't done reading that okay so flashing light warning what instruments do you play? I, okay. So I clearly have a piano in the background. Um, <laughs> I think I've seen this on TikTok. Hi, Jasmine. Welcome back. We just got into the game. Um, so you did not miss anything, but gambling, I mean, I mean, depending on the mini games in Pokemon, you could have gambling. Like there was definitely a game. I ate all the food for myself. <laughs> 
You weren't gonna share? <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> Can we get a shout out for JCK? She plays Beat Saber sometimes, and it's very fun to watch. She's a pro at Beat Saber. When I retire, <gasps> I want a television the size of a billboard. Mystery! Thank you for being here for three months, my friend. The game corner is always just gambling. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Um, and we have a special thing for you. Uh, mystery for resubscribing. And it goes like this. I've learned a lot since I met you, Connor. Maybe there's something to this. Maybe you really are alive. You'll be the ones to make the world a better place. Yay, you got the Hank one, yay! Pokemon Gold had a casino in Goldenrod. Yeah, 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 I remember that. I would play slots in there all the time in the uh, remake. Um, ah, Detroit Become Human. Yeah, a lot of us are Detroit Become Human fans. I mean, considering that my hype emote is Connor and then my rage emote is Nines, like, yeah. Uh, but to answer your question, do, um, I was a music major in undergrad. I was a music education student. I played clarinet. That's my primary. Um, and of course, being a music education student, that meant I have because to when learn. I, retire, I want a television the size of a billboard. Mira, thank you for the gift and stuff to Sir Prosif. Oh, thank you, Mira. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh my goodness. Thank you. I hope you've been well. And we also have a gift. We also have a sub alert for you too for gifting a subscription. Um, here is, he, here's the thing for you. Oh, what's this? Oh, what's this? It's a Brian. <laughs> Hello. Thanks for the first time chat, Mira. Thanks for being here, friend. We appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, but it doesn't promote the game corner as a good thing ever. Doesn't it always have sad people who have ruined their lives by gambling in the corner? I think so. I don't remember. The soundbite that I should have got before the thank you, Lieutenant Soundboy. I <laughs> gotcha, it's okay. <laughs> I did add the sound alert, the sound bit from last night from Titanfall about uh, BT being like, oh, I am 50% in love. That is now added into the randomizer. So we'll see if we'll ever pull it. Um, and thank you for the gifted stuff to Brosif. Brosif is taking a break from streaming right now, but Brosif is also like, I love him. I never get to see him live when he was. Um, because he's, like, in California time zone, so, like, he would stream at 12 a.m. my time zone, so, like, I would never be able to watch, <laughs> but he was always, he was always fun to watch stream. Um, Grandma's here for your B. No problem, Yolf. No problem at all, my friend. But, um, due to continue answering your question, Clarinet's my primary, piano's like my second-ish, but I do love composing and arranging music. Um, the music that you hear on the Starting Soon and BRB screens are actually is actually something I composed myself for a project in college, um, in graduate school, I should say. Um, it's 1.27 a.m., can't sleep, oh no! Do, are you are you like wide awake or do you need to sleep? Because if, if you need box, we can give you box to go to bed. Time zone hits me this year a lot. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Susie is now on the Aaron Gray time zone. <laughs> All right. Um, time zones. What are time zones? Are you sure you want to start a new same slot? Yes, I'm sure. I love how the cursor is a music note. That's pretty cool. Luckily, this is not late for me. That's right. 6.28 p.m. here. Bobby traveling tomorrow. Ooh! And so it comes to pass. Oh, wait. There's a story with this? Ages after the twin vessels were forged, a new soul appeared. There's a story with this? Brave soul. One day you will stand before two baboons. Baboons? Is that bassoons? You will rend the very fabric that binds this land. But until that day comes, you must toot. What? Toot your trombone, brave soul, and you may yet become the trombone champ. Dark Souls trombone edition? <laughs> Tromboner lore? What was that face? Excuse me. <laughs> that that was. Can we get some toots in chat? 
Welcome to Trombone Champ. Choose play to play the main game. Afterwards, many secrets await thee. Oh, this is interesting. Jasmine, I'm so happy you got me this game. Gray become toots. Oh my god. Oh my god, this this looks like Super Smash Bros. This is what the Super Smash menus looks like, y'all. Oh my god, that Rylor. Yes! Yes, indeed. All right. All right, let's look at settings real quick. All right. Air horn volume, we're gonna just turn down, like... Hello? I want to turn down the volume. Okay, full screen. Okay, that's fine. Oh, it's very picky. Okay, it's very picky on where it is. Okay. It's a pointer. Got it. Okay. I better see Matt from the Wii and Trombone Champ. Because <laughs> at the beginning, we have Dark Souls and now Smash Bros. Sweetie, it's a pointer. <laughs> I'm a little stupid. I was trying to go for the center. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. Contain jumpsters are intended to be comical. Okay. Uh, what's our just flashing for the sake of y'all? Uh, remove track backgrounds completely. Removes backgrounds during trombone gameplay and changes note to a high contrast color. Reduce the amount of clicks required. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I, although my acne below my chin is okay now. Like, that's why, like, I resort to, like, pointing right here on my face and, like, resting my finger here because, like, this doesn't get acne and we're not going to wood now. I'm probably going to. I'll watch your first round, then I might head out to bed. That is okay. Okay. Clicks required to open chests, much less physically strenuous, but also less comedic. Okay. Keep the backgrounds and clicks. Okay. Yeah, I'll just reduce the flashing lights. I'll keep the jump scares for now and see what happens. Okay. Baboon quantity. Okay, I'm gonna keep those because I don't know what those mean. All right. Um. I like having acne. It really helps with my gender dysphoria. Oh, that's fair. That's fair. I don't for the sake of like a lot. I, I had a lot on my neck. For some reason, this game has jump scares. I think it's meant to be comedic, like I said. Seeing you see this game in action. All right. Choose your tromboner. Oh, God. Oh, man. There's so much here. Oh my god. Okay, Horn Lord looks a lot like Ryland. Um, Astudious. What does that mean? I have no idea. Oh, we get to your trombone or bass trombone. That's interesting. I feel Horn Lord mate. <laughs> yeah, I really do. I was about to say that this is the one that looks most like Ryland right now. All right. A world of music awaits you, but first let's start with a warm up. All right, warm up one twelve. Warm up your trombone with a simple warm up, perfect for first timers. Ah, interesting. Tear spunk dude slides fury. I S generic white boy me. Our <laughs> school speed. Okay, we're gonna keep it pretty basic because we don't know what we're getting into here. Okay, how to play? Move the mouse forward and back, and move to move the slide. You can adjust the controls in the settings menu. Okay, so we move it up and down like this. Okay, cool. Tears, I cannot. All right, press the left mouse button on any letter key, or any letter key to toot. Use the keyboard maybe easier on your wrist. Oh gee, I have a poppy. Oh, a poppy! A kitty! Hello, poppy! Everyone say hello to one of Susie's cats. If you play well, if you build horn combos and increase your champ meter, this is how you get big points. Watch the breath meter. If you hold a note for too long, you'll run out of breath. Oh, that is valid. Most of all, have fun and enjoy the beautiful succulent music you will soon create. Oh, God. I'm scared.
Oh god, these controls are inverted. These controls are inverted. We gotta fix it. Hold on, wait a second. We gotta fix it. They're inverted. Uh. Oh wait, mouse default. Up, down, not inverted. Test controls. Oh, perfect. All right, there we go. <laughs> Can we fix that? <laughs> Just like a real trombone. <laughs> I remember really liking coward. Hey, don't call me a coward. I, li I like playing it like that. It's just easier for me to play. I've played trombone before, actually. When I had to for brass techniques. I'm allowed to play a game however I want. Whatever is comfortable for me. We're doing our arpeggios and scales! Oh my god, look at us! D major, let's go! <laughs> e major, woo! F major? I wish my scales were this fun. I probably would have been more inclined, inclined to do scales. I probably would have been more inclined to do scales like this if there was a sick beat in the background. <laughs> I hated doing scales. Actually, no. I didn't mind doing skills once you learn the pattern. Behrman's skills for clarinet were a lot of fun. I will not take criticism. No. The text on crying. I couldn't even read the text. Why am I singing along? Nadashka, hey! Hey, friend! Welcome on in! Uh, I warmed up my big trombone. My nightmare is over. A musical genius in the midst. All right. What a masterpiece. Thanks. Posting a picture in the Discord because help! <laughs> Alright. I don't know. What are we supposed to play next? Max Tundra Silent Night. The titular Silent Silent Night is not so silent in the club mixed by legendary producer Max Tundra. Okay, wait. Zarathustra is such a banger. Oh, okay. I know what that is. All right, let me let me see. Oh, I know this one. Posted in animal pics. Okay, we'll play this one because it's first part of the piece titled Sunrise became famous after being used in the film 2001 A Space Odyssey. I remember learning about this in intro to film music. It's a lot of fun. Scales are better when there's a beat. Jazz class made me realize that. I saw a change in my fellow classmates that got better when I played a beat and didn't care about, didn't care playing when I didn't. It's interesting and funny. Yeah. I mean, it's also like, um, it makes them more interesting, I suppose. Uh, doing load mint. There are two between. There are just between two and four spiders living inside the average trombone. I don't like that. Is this the space Odyssey song? This is the space. Look at me. Not in the original key, and I don't like it. Bum bum. 
The suspense! The anticipation! <laughs> the fly is alive, I can't! <laughs> Excuse me, did you just make a fart sound with your- This is accurate to what trombone players do. This is so accurate. Okay. Oh, there's Entertainer, which is going to be difficult. Oh, God. Do we want to ruin the national anthem? Oh, William Tell Overture. Taps. Oh, we gotta. We gotta. We gotta play Taps. We gotta. Best to start with in Taps is optimal for earning toots. Got Poppy wanted to print 65 pages of Twitch shit. <laughs> Ruin the national anthem. We'll do that next. No clue what this is, but it sounds patriotic. Okay, so I'll explain it. Oh, S Apprentice, sweet. So Taps is a, I don't know how to describe it in terms of like the type of piece it is, but it's definitely patriotic. It is played during memorial ceremonies, usually for military personnel or people who have served. Um, um, so like when we did Back in high school, when we would do our Memorial Day parade, at the end of the parade route, there would be a statue um, that was in memorial for people who died serving for the country. And usually one of the high school trumpet players who got would be selected to play taps at the end of the ceremony. Um, and then um, I remember when I was staying with Ryan, um, who lives near the National um, Cemetery, for those who uh, um, died in um, combat, um, they would play taps at 11 o'clock every night. And I would always hear it while I'm trying to go to sleep. And I'll be like, oh, that's so soothing. But now I know it's 11 p.m. and I can't go to bed. <laughs> um, so, yeah, it, it's a really cool little piece. Um, and it's just a nice way to honor those who served. Um, my grandpa had taps played at his funeral. Yeah, yeah. Usually for those who served. I think taps may have been played at my grandfather's funeral on my dad's side, but I wouldn't know because I was too young and they kept me in the church uh, because my mom didn't want me exposed to a funeral when I was, like, six. Um, what, what UK does. Probably something sad. I don't know. I know exactly what taps is in context Australia. That's fair. That's fair. You, I would imagine, like, every most countries would have something similar um, but in the U.S., it's taps. All right. Um, Blue Danube. I remember that. Doom Core. What? Beethoven's Fifth. Oh, my goodness. God save the queen! <laughs> Susie, can I? Please? Please, Susie, give me British permission. <laughs> but God save the king! <laughs> And most famous renditions during JFK's funeral, wherein the burglar, the bugler actually fucked up a note. Oh my god, oh no! Piece called The Last Post. Oh, that's interesting. Did they do it before 21 Gun Salute? Yep, 
Yeah, I remember one year that we did the memorial parade, they did 21 Gun Salute, and the, the um, band director actually warned us that it was coming. Yes, butcher my country. Slay the king. We deserve it. All right. If you place all of the trombones on Earth, and, and they would wrap around the solar system four times. Oh, that's interesting. I wonder if that's coiled or uncoiled. All right. <laughs> Is this America the Beautiful? I sing. Why could we have Jerusalem? <laughs> Is it time to go to Jericho? <laughs> Please do the US national anthem next. Okay. The yeah, see anthem is pretty shit though. So wait, is a is it my So wait, is my country Tis of Thee like also the same tune as the British national anthem? My country, tis of the sweet land of liberty, of the ice. Oh my god, I am 24 years old. I am today years old just figuring this out. What? <laughs> I, I called it America the Beautiful an accent. <laughs> also, hi, Magnolia. I just Googled it. It's the same. <laughs> makes sense historically. Okay, yeah, that does make sense. Historically, that does make sense. Um, alright, we'll butcher our own national anthem next. Eventually, we'll do Stars and Stripes, because that one's a fun one. We love the- we love the piccolo solo in Stars and Stripes. I'm sorry, we ruled you all at one point. There are more trombones on Earth than there are in humans. Interesting. Okay. 25 and I just learned. Alright. <laughs> oh, I hate these jumps. <laughs> Why must there be <laughs> Why must there be fits? Why is there six jumps? <laughs> Why are there cannons? There are cannons. Yikes. Yikes. <laughs> to be fair, I forgot that God Save the King had a second verse until today. USA. USA. Oh, God. Merka. Oh, man. All right, let's see what else there is. God, this got harder than it was you. <laughs> Wait, the flashing also removes the moving effects. Oh, the moving effects. Interesting. Waves British. All right, let's see. Um, oh, to joy. It can be fun. Also, Glow, I don't know if you're still here, but thank you for the lurk earlier. I forgot to say hi, and thank you for the first as well. I appreciate you. Marseille. Oh, as Francais' national anthem, you say. 
<laughs> Try to play the hardest one you can. Oh god. Um. Okay, I just stopped by to say hi. I'm still working, so I can't say have fun. No problem, Magnolia. Thanks for being your friend. We appreciate you. Seeing as we're on a patriotic run. We are on a patriotic run. We gotta butcher them all. We're gonna butcher all of them. The highest note playable on the trombone is so high pitched that only certain species of bats can hear it. That makes sense. That makes sense. Shanti little tune. <laughs> it's an interesting tune, for sure. The amount of times I hear this during Six Nations rugby. <laughs> this theme has scarred many Brits this year. Oh my goodness. Alright. Um, okay, we come full circle. Alright. Wait, is this take me out at the ball game? I wonder if that is. It might be. Oh, soccer. I remember playing this for piano, actually. Oh my god, Sugar Plum Fairy? Oh, hell yeah. Hold on. The world record for most trombones owned is held by Mike Brass of Omaha, Nebraska. He owns two trombones! <laughs> Icrimus. We love glissandos. <laughs> we love glissandos. The slopey things are amazing. Yeah, glissandos. We love them. I'll post the Deja Vu trombone champ video in media later because that one is amazing. I want crap trombone in my stocking this year. <laughs> yeah, let's go Nebraska fact. <laughs> Uh, my martial arts style was actually founded in um, Nebraska. Then they relocated the headquarters to Arkansas because the state tree was a pine tree and my martial arts style, um, like the, um, the uh, history behind it and like its symbolism revolves around pine trees. Um, Subrosive, hello! Hello, friend! How are you? I was just telling you all 
love I was just telling chat about you earlier because you got gifted a sub I'm like oh my god I'm so glad Brosif got a sub because we adore Brosif I'm doing okay how are you doing are you enjoying your mini hiatus from streaming right now um love Nebraska facts <laughs> But yeah, we are currently playing Trombone Champ because it was gifted to me, and man, I am intrigued. Compliment Arkansas? Oh fuck, wait, I did not mean to back out of that. Um. Okay, I'm off. Good night, y'all. Bye, Jen. Thanks for being here. Arkansas is pretty dope. Um, I've been to um. I've been to Little Rock before. Little Rock is actually downtown area. It's not that bad. Um. There's actually like a sushi area somewhere and it was like, oh, it was so fucking good. Um, okay, yeah, we'll do, uh, oh, Canada. Laptop gonna die, I must save it, yes. Canada, there you are. But thanks, uh, Brosa for stopping by and have a good night, Jen. Takes over 3,000 tons of brass to produce a single trombone. I don't think that's correct. Canada. I am. I do miss it, though. I'm doing all right. Today's the last day of work before a two-week break. It's pretty dead all week, so I'm sure I could toddle over a lunch. Oh, that's fair. I mean, I've been on my two-week break since, like, last week. Um, we don't go back in the office until um, January 3rd, and then I'm taking a couple more days off because I have the time to do it. Um, so I've used someone playing Freebird and Trombone Champ. Yeah, I imagine, like, this is gonna be, like, modded, like, hell in terms of, um, like, Beat Saber, in terms of, like, custom maps and everything. I can imagine. We'll do a couple more. Um, saw someone play Through the Fire and Flames. Oh my god. Ein Klein. Knocked music, which is a little night music, um, by Mozart. Trap mix. Can you turn flashing back on? Spray mild in the background gives it much charm. Okay. Um, we could try that a little bit. The mod videos are great. Okay, let's. Free improvisation. Oh my god. Let's collect. What is this? Welcome to your collection. Play the main game to earn toots and then spend them on trombone cards. You can collect all 50 question mark. Give me a sack. Why not? Do not eat, Susie. Susie, you can't eat this. I'm sorry. Air horn. We love it. <laughs> there's, a, there's a very inspired Final Fantasy VII one winged angel mod for this. Oh, Rachmaninoff. This leading Russian-born comp composer, pianist, and conductor was one of the most popular of late Romantic period. When he ordered hot dogs, he requested them as long as my name, please, and everyone would laugh. <laughs> Music is what we call sound made by trombones. It's like hot dogs for your ears. It sounds really good, except when it sounds bad. Try to find music that you enjoy and then listen to it a lot. Ooh, treble clef. Look how pretty. Look how pretty it is. 
Favored clef of the primordial baboon Tootseeker Tom. This clef represents light, but there can be light without no light without dark. The baboon. <laughs> These viral old world monkeys, often called the trombones of the animal kingdom, are descendants of of Babai, the bull of the baboons, who is a relative of the primordial baboons that watch over the twin toot vessels. When I and that was a baboon called a car. Um, outside my window, excuse me? Oh, it, it's a sports car. He's just showing off how big his dick is. It's fine. Cool. That's pretty cool. I'm not gonna buy more right now. Um, I'll adjust that setting real quick, just so we can see what it looks like. Oh, that is not the setting I want. All right. Small dicky. Okay. Um. That one already. <clears throat> Martian killbots. Old gray mare. Let me see. Okay, someone requested to do the hard. I really want to do stars and stripes because I wonder if it's gonna give us the piccolo solo, and I'm very curious. In real life, there are over nine songs that feature a trombone. Over nine. Nines. We love nines. All right, I'm ready to die. I got things. <laughs> I hear that piccolo solo and I'm in love. In hell. <laughs> Hi, Gothics. I'd be doing the work thing, but my appointment has not shown up. Oh, no. Oh, man. We hate when they don't, don't show up. Hmm. Oh, God. That hurt my hand. I can see why they recommend, like, doing a mix of keyboard, but I have to get used to that, though. Um, interesting. All right, I'll do one more and then we're gonna switch over to Cat Cafe Simulator because I feel like that's gonna be um, more of a bulk of our time today. 
doing drop-ins the rest of the day, but has some grad apps and BAS applications to get through first. Oh, that's fair. Trombone Skies. I really want to do the Baboons one. Because I'm... <laughs> I appreciate the recommendation, but I'm going to go with the Baboons one. Because I am curious, to say the least. I will definitely play them all in my downtime, though. Because this is definitely a little silly little game that I could definitely play for funsies. Oh, that's off beat. Oh, fuck. And the haunted baboon in the background, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, the air horn. <laughs> this game was fun. This game was definitely fun. I'm interested to see. Oh wait, is stuff? Is their songs different for bass trombone? Oh no, it's just different. Okay. Okay. Yeah, definitely a game. I will definitely be playing more. B b baboons! B for baboons! Whenever they say baboons, I keep thinking, like, they're saying bassoon because my band director in college would always call the bassoons baboons. Um, so that's where that comes from, <laughs> if you're ever curious. Alright, we're gonna quit trombone champ. That's a lot of fun, though! Thank you, uh, JCK or Jasmine! for buying it for me. Thank you, thank you. It's very much appreciated. <laughs> Can we get some claps? Some love for JCK, because we appreciate her. <laughs> um, oh, I love that. Oh, hot cross buns? <laughs> yeah, I can play some hot cross buns. <laughs> Just me. I love that. I love that Connor remote. That one's so cute. <laughs> JC love. Can you confirm that this game is the only good thing to ever come out of band camp? Um... I mean, it helped me lose weight. Bandcamp helped me lose weight. Jasmine or Nine spam. Yeah, that was fun. We're gonna definitely we're gonna play another game. Um, we're gonna play Cat Cafe Simulator. I figured because like I I don't think I could do three hours of trombone champ without losing my mind. Hot cross buns on trombone. I don't have a trombone though. Um, but here we go. A body has been discovered. Thank you for the follow, uh, do on the grass. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We appreciate you being here. Um, yeah, Cat Cafe! Cat Cafe was gifted to me by, uh, oh shit, a moose. Uh, I don't know if moose will be here, though, but that's okay. Um, he can always watch the VOD later. Um, but, yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> moose! Um, so we are going to take a five minute break just for us to switch over into the game. So the stream will cut, um, at some point during the five minute break. Um, uh, and this one time at band camp. Okay. So this one time at band camp, um, uh, some guy asked freshmen if, if they could rub his feet for him because his feet really hurt. And we don't like that kid because he's creepy. 
<laughs> Trying to think of like other one time at Van stories that aren't that like that weird. <laughs> Uh, this one time at band camp, I got, we all got drenched in water and we had to run like a fourth of a mile to, to get to the building. <laughs> That's weird. Yeah, we don't like him. <laughs> we don't like him. This was, also, this was a college student who was a junior at the time asking freshmen to do that. Stay safe, kiddos. <laughs> Stay safe. <laughs> At least he didn't have them practice on his feet. I mean, I mean, he asked them. I don't. I don't think they said no. I think they said no. Chain them up and throw away the key. I wish. I wish we could. I wish we could do that. Um. I appreciate you all being here, though. Ugh, yeah, he he is an interesting boy. Nothing wrong with feet. I mean, it's it's my person. It, it's just a little weird, especially because he didn't really know them. It was just, it's just a little off. Considering, and also, like, I'm not telling the full story of, like, other things about this, this guy, but, like, there's, there's more than just that that happened. Uh, okay. okay, cool. If you don't know the person, then if you know the person, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so, um, we're gonna go on a five minute break so we could switch over to Cat Cafe Manager, so the stream title's gonna change and all that stuff. The stream will cut. Do not panic if the stream dies on you. Um, that's just me stopping stream and restarting it. Um, just so I can do the VODs correctly and things don't get mad at me when I try to clip things. Um, uh, but we will see you all real soon in five minutes, so don't forget to do self-care things like go get a snack, go get some water. Um, if you need to go to Sleepies, go to Sleepies. Um, and we'll be back in five minutes. See you soon.